Hello everyone and welcome to Warven's World and welcome to my let's play of the Warmongering Unfallen. So last time the Unfallen, the other Unfallen, are giving me a little bit of a hard time. So the idea is to group up, make sure we get the changes so we have defenses against lasers and we have projectile damage. Uh, we are researching the projectiles as well, so that's good for that. Um, and well, then let's end our turn. Because, well, we need to try to get their planets. We created a new trading company. Oh, in some unfallen. Yeah, we don't want to. Burns like fire. Might be smart, but I don't want to. Here we go. Let us upgrade these ones as well. Um, so actually, we've got a fair amount of force now. So if we send all of this together... Oh, these are on their way as well. Here we go. Next turn we'll send them. And there we go. So I think I upgraded the needles as well, right? Oh no, we're still at short. Ah, that's why it was so cheap to do that. Oh yeah, we were researching this, so still three turns. Oh yes, uh, then we will just put all of these on defending. Good, perfect. Uh, let us end our turn then, except we have to infagis. Mm. Yeah, this doesn't do a whole lot, although I do have 24 people, so it would increase 24 my science, which is not a whole lot, but 25% is a bit more. So then, let's create a trade company here, because you're not really doing anything else, so that's fine. Let's also send this light ship all the way here. Um, then we've got Adana, which has been terraforming this. So now there's some more space, which is good. Um, what to do now, though? Maybe some more production or science got only two types of people here which we could change but meh. Um, yeah we could get more of that and then there is a Zuben yeah that's the planet I don't like so well they are ecstatic for whatever reason living here on this terrible place well we could do the same and not really care um, could just do public 3d printing because it's not really gonna give me anything let's just do that until we research the thing to kind of get rid of this and then and then we'll probably get rid of them all right, proto orgets. All right. Competitive quest started. Food fight. Produce the most food in the galaxy in 20 turns. I think I should be able to win that with Urza. We have entwined Durze. To say. Good. I'm um, thinking of going towards Imnas here. Um. Not so good about this here. Genesis is a nice starting planet. Let's do it. It's the planet of the Lumeris, and now it's ours. So it is ours now, although I'm not really going to manage it too much. I don't really like this automation manager though, because yeah, somehow it doesn't really work that good for me. Um, not in this game, at least. Um, lots of cool things here. Um, and this is fertile. Okay, so I don't need food buildings because we're going to get plenty of food here. Um, so let us just make some production then. Temperate, yes. Perfect, here we go. Very nice. 10 turns. Let's do that a bit quicker. Because then we can make... 
Mm, we don't know where they're strategic yet, but let's check this life form here and let's keep it at that. So what will you do? You can go here and get us some dust. And what will you do? You will vine Arcturus. One more turn and we'll have the better weapons. We are close to achieving supremacy victory. Are we really though? Yeah, we still need two of the... F <laughs> We're only halfway. Although I guess... Uh, conquest victory... 10 out of 45 required star system. Holy cow, 45. <laughs> I might actually be able to do that almost. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 29, not entirely yet. But if I would press colonize on all of these, then my happiness would tank. But I could actually win fairly soon if I just vine all of this and vine all of that. But that's not how we roll, is it? So... We will wait for one more turn, because then we will have those weapons. Just completed, hooray! Uh, they're still happy with us. Good. Alright, so now we should change our needles to have cool weapons. Um, hmm. Let's go for both. Um, I'm still kind of okay with all of this, really. Because they shouldn't be firing at these guys. And we don't get anything specifically cool from it. So let's keep them cheap. So then we have the well. Which should get... Um, Let's go for this one. Because the well be will be doing less critical anyway. Um, yes. Although... Yes, no, that's fine. Um, no. Oh yeah, we gave you more things. That's good. Alright, so you can have this and this and this. Of course, maybe I should kind of have a mix, because now they're just going to defend against projectile. But we'll see uh, if that is indeed the case or not. Uh, so now we will also give you some defense against this. Here we go. So now this might cost me a little bit. Oh, huh, it's actually not that bad. So now... Ooh, hello. Uh... I'm not entirely sure if I attack, if I attack with everything. Let's see. Now I wish I had taken that skill with extra projectile damage. Unfortunately, I didn't. Um, what's the other one? Do you have something cool? Extra projectile damage? That's cool. Alright, uh, let's attack. Because you are still hopefully all into projectile stuff. Or into energy, you are. So that we should be able to win that. So let's take you and attack. Mm-hmm. Um... Oh, now I forgot about taking the right tactics. Well, shield absorption is actually the one that I want, so that's perfect. Uh, let's look, though. Um, I'm thinking of putting everything into one. Because with long range, I don't really have to worry. And I might as well be together. Because I don't have any short ranged or medium ranged ones that specifically want to be at medium Although these needles kind of like to be at long, medium, and short. Let's keep it like this. 
We do a bit less damage though. But if we manage to beat these two armies, um, I think we've got a good shot against the Unfallen. Let's look at the overview. We should be doing much more damage than them. Yeah, we already killed one, so we should have much better weapons. Nice. As you can see here, these missiles just destroy stuff. Of course, they can only attack at long range. So that's why it's also good to have some of those lasers that can attack at any range. Or uh, la uh, basic slugs or whatever they're called. Well, that was easy. We lost one tank ship. But, well, they lost an entire army, so I think that's a good trade. Yay! We were at long, so what did they take? They took at lucky short range. Aha. 70% damage bonus on critical hit. What did they have for weapons then? Ah, they had those slugs that have a little bit of critical hit. Okay. All right, fair enough. Well, then we've got this one here. We will go to power to shields. We will all be here. And we will do the same. Let's watch it completely in the, in the nice camera now, because I'm pretty sure we should win this. Uh, auto camera, yes. We'll skip to the action though. We'll put it a bit. I like the red. One down. The camera's not doing a very good job. Three down. Four down. And here come the missiles. Nice. Now the problem with missiles is that those slug weapons can actually intercept them. So the kinetic weapons. But this is great. This is really nice. Because uh, this now means that we can just go here. Oh, there is a civilian. Okay. <laughs> I was like, why am I not sieging? Here we go. Minus 200 each turn. So it still takes quite a while. They've got 135. We've got 700 and yeah, so we've got more, but how do they get so much? <laughs> I guess I have a lot of guardians or something. Um, and I guess that's the unfallen thing actually anyway, to be very defensive about this stuff. Um, I'm inclined to, to want to that, but I can't pay for it. Uh, so I could go for this. No, I can't pay for that either. Let's have a bit more tanks, because they have a lot of it as well. Because then... I have 23 tanks against their 60 people, so that should work. The only problem is my deployment limit is not very high. Um, where was that? There's something about deployment limits somewhere. Um, is that this? No, that's privateers, which I actually have never used. Deployment limit, no. What about limit? No. Or was that actually a... Um, a thing? Additional manpower. Uh, doesn't really say much. Well, that's fine. So now the question is, do we wait for this? I guess I'll wait a couple of turns and then invade. I think that might be the best thing to do. 
black hole discovered. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> and Adana. What do we do with Adana? Adana is the Amoeba, Amoeba colony. And why is there a ship here? Oh, that's Vodjani. Okay, you can stay. For now. Mm. Let's do this. Graviton. That's quite nice. Yeah, you guys. You just defend. And you can vine a saddle. Nice. You can vine this. Perfect. I'm actually make 12 adamantium per turn, which is really quite nice. Now I kind of wish I didn't sell it though, because now I kind of need it. What we can do though is start making Hoth a bit more interesting. Um, so we could start terraforming it. Oh, that will take a long time though. So let us first do this and then let's have AI labor. And then let's have this as well. And let's see what of that we can buy out. Because we have a lot of money. But it actually is costing a lot at the moment already as well. Um, but this one plus five per on sterile. That's actually really nice for us. So I will invest in this but not in the rest. Because this should improve our production by quite a lot already. Alright, that was it for this time. I will put the episode to a close. But I hope you had fun and see you next time.